Hey everyone, Google's AI Studio just got a massive upgrade. The AI Studio Coder is now at version 2.0, completely free and ready to harness the power of the upcoming Gemini 3 model. In today's video, we're diving into all the exciting new features. Now, head over to aistudio.google.com. Once you're there, take a look at the left sidebar. You'll see a menu called Build. Go ahead and click on that. Here, you can create apps just by giving prompts, kind of like tools such as Lovable. But the big difference is this one's completely free. What makes it powerful is that Google also provides model context for Gemini APIs. That means you can build AI-powered apps using their advanced tools. For example, you can tell it to use the Nano Banana API to build an image generation app, or create voice-based conversational apps, integrate with Google Maps, or even analyze images using AI. And if you don't want to use Gemini APIs, that's fine too. You can just use it as a general coding assistant to build apps with no AI dependency. You can also try the I'm feeling lucky option. Just click it and it'll auto-generate a demo app idea and start building it for you. Super useful if you're not sure what to create or just want to explore how it works. Next, click on the Models option. By default, it's using Gemini 2.5 Pro, but you also have the option to switch to Gemini 2.5 Flash, which is faster and lighter for certain tasks. Right below that, you'll see the System Instructions section. Here, you can either type in custom instructions manually or upload a file with specific rules or behavior you want the model to follow. This gives you more control over how your app behaves during generation. You can also choose a template for your app. Right now, Google AI Studio supports both React TypeScript and Angular TypeScript. And if you prefer speaking over typing, there's even a microphone selector. Inside the chat interface, you can also attach your own files to guide the app you're building. That includes images, text files, PDFs, and more. So if you have a product requirement document, a design image, or even some sample data, you can upload it. And the AI will use that context to generate more accurate apps. Next, click on the gallery menu. Here, Gemini Studio provides a bunch of ready-made app templates, so you can simply pick one, make your changes, and deploy it. It's a great way to jumpstart your project. You can also filter these templates based on the AI model integrated, like Nano Banana Powered Image Apps, VO Powered Video Apps, and other Gemini-based tools. It's all neatly organized to help you find the right starting point fast. Next, open the Your Apps menu. This is where you'll find all the apps you've previously created. Everything is automatically saved and accessible anytime. There's also an FAQ page available. If you ever get stuck or want to learn more about a specific feature, you'll likely find the answers there. Super useful for beginners and even advanced users exploring Gemini Studio. All right, now let's move on to actually creating an app. For this demo, I'm going to use the I'm feeling lucky option. Just click on it and it'll start generating a random app idea for you. If you're not happy with the first suggestion, no worries. Just keep clicking until you find one that feels right for you. I'm going to stick with this app suggestion. It's actually a storybook creation app. The idea is simple. You upload a script, and based on that, it will generate a full storybook for you. What makes it even better is that it uses AI models like image generation to illustrate your story and AI-powered chat, which can help refine or expand the content interactively. Sounds pretty cool, right? Let's go ahead and submit this prompt and see what it builds. All right, Gemini Studio has started working and compared to other tools, it generates code much quicker, which is super impressive. Take a look, it's using the Gemini 2.5 Flash model for image generation, which is perfect for visual heavy apps like this one. You can also see how it connects to the AI models behind the scenes to power different parts of the app. Now check this out, you can view the app in full screen mode to get the complete experience. And over in the Code Preview tab, you get a full breakdown of the code. What's even better, you can edit the code right there if you want to tweak or fine-tune anything. And here's the best part. The code it generates is professional level. You're getting clean, well-structured TypeScript just like a real developer would write. Honestly, no one would guess this was made with vibe coding. Now the app is fully ready to use. In the top menu, you'll see a device-based view option. Select Mobile to check how your app looks on smaller screens. 
And yes, it's fully responsive. Everything scales nicely and it looks great on mobile. There's also a rotate option so you can flip the screen orientation and double check the layout in both portrait and landscape modes. It's a great way to ensure your app is responsive across devices right from the preview panel. Now let's test out the app. In the input box, we need to provide our story script. The AI will take that and generate a full storybook with images. Super cool. There's also an assistant tab where you can chat with the AI directly. Great if you want to refine your story or brainstorm ideas on the go. For this example, I'm going to paste a simple story idea. A short story about a white cat and a black cat becoming friends. You can also upload a script file if you've already written something. Just drag and drop it in. Now let's go ahead and click Generate. And there it is. Our story content is ready. The text has been generated and the images are being created. Just give it a few seconds. Now take a look. The images are here and they look fantastic. The best part? The visuals are consistent across all screens. The cat characters look the same in every scene, which really ties the story together. Both cats look super cute and expressive, giving the professional, polished feel. Now, let's take a look at the options you have after your app is built. First up is the Copy App option. This basically creates a branch or clone of your current app. It's perfect if you want to experiment with changes without affecting the original version. Next, you've got the ability to download the full code. You can take it, customize it further in your own editor, and deploy it anywhere you like. There's also a Save to GitHub option. Just enter a repository name, add a short description, choose the visibility, public or private, and push the code directly to GitHub. Super useful for version control or team collaboration. And yes, you can deploy your app directly to Google Cloud from right here. You can either create a new project or import an existing one, then deploy in just a few clicks. Finally, there's a share app option. You'll get a public URL that you can send to anyone. It shares both the app and the full source code, so others can try it, view it, or even build on top of it. You also have the option to set your own API key for any services your app needs. Now, let's try something fun. We'll use the Assistant tab to get a random story script. Just open the tab, ask it to generate a new story idea, and it will give you a fresh script in seconds. So, the assistant just gave us a story about a mysterious music box. Sounds interesting. I'm going to copy that script and use it to create a new storybook. And just like before, after a few seconds, our second story is ready, fully generated with the help of the assistant. Everything works smoothly, and it's really impressive how fast and creative the results are. And if you want, you can continue working on the app, either by assistant suggestions or just using your own ideas to improve and expand it. So that's a full walkthrough of the new Google AI Studio Coder 2.0, an incredibly powerful free tool that makes it super easy to build and deploy AI-powered apps. From writing code with prompts and voice, to using Gemini APIs, customizing templates, previewing and deploying, it's packed with features for both beginners and advanced users. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more AI and app development content. And let me know in the comments, what kind of app would you build with Gemini Studio? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.